Hello guys and girls. Unfortunately, we're so busy that we are just getting stuck with posting videos on very, very short periods of time. We are a little bit short staffed and overworked and we're overwhelmed with the race season now running. So what we have here is we're gonna put Steve's car back on the track. Unfortunately, his brake pad started deteriorating and uh, if you come and look at these pads, the thickness of these bad boys for for measurement sizes. I mean, look at my my finger size compared to the pad size. With all the power, with all the aero, with all the tires, he goes through brake pads a little bit faster than a Mazda Miata does. I wonder why. So what we're doing is we're gonna replace the brake pads on it, um, and then we're gonna do a brake fluid flush on it as well. And then hopefully we'll put it back in the trailer, and you should be good to go for VIR. So as you can see, the brake pad thickness and how it's starting to crumble apart is because it gets a little bit hot. There you go. So that pad thickness and then this pad thickness. A little bit of a difference. Both of them are racing pads? Oh, of course they're racing pads. Yeah, look, at, look at how thick that's supposed to be compared to that guy. See it? So these rotors have three events on them, and you can see how much heat stress cracks does it have and on the it. The pads do three events? Um, three to four events, yes. So, as a reference point, the pad thickness. See how it's all worn down now? Like half the pad is gone. Yeah. So, we're bleeding the brakes on the beast little uh, product. I'm sorry, we're bleeding the brakes on Helga. A little bit of a DFC brake fluid. Product uh, marketing here. Brake fluid. Sponsor Topped off. Yeah. Sponsor, Sponsor us. us. Yeah, yeah. We need some. Uh, we need some sponsor money. Thank you. We love DFC stuff. <laughs> and then here we go. We're gonna be bleeding the uh, these monstrosity big brakes. And then we have the best helper ever and the cutest one. Thank you for helping us out. Appreciate it. All right. Cheerio. The brakes are so hard on this. Up. Uh, that I think a little push that out. DJ just uh, stopped welding here, I think. It's still smoking. And then on this car, DJ is making a cage for it. As you can see, it is looking absolutely spectacular. What kind of car? Don't look in the light. This is a BMW 335. Um, it's got a little bit of work done to it. And then it's going to get a wide body kit eventually. Come around. Take a look at this magical, beautiful oh, welding. Oh, I didn't know it doesn't have a windshield. Yeah, well, we <laughs> removed the windshield because to get to these guys, to these welds. Once this is up high, you can't weld this all the way around. And uh, with the excessive power that this car is making, we wanted to make sure that Kevin is super safe. It's just, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm absolutely loving, loving DJ's welding work. Kid is talented. He's doing fantastic. Look at that head grow. Look at that. Oh, he doesn't fit in the head anymore. But no, it's, uh, it's really gonna be a superior build for him. And we wanna make sure that Kevin is safe. Um, uh, what else? Gutted the uh, the interior, so he took care of all of that. That's all he's getting. Uh, yeah, here. we're doing we're doing the cage for him, and then most likely we're gonna do a power um, shut off system, and then most likely a fire system as well. But uh, we'll cross that bridge in a little bit. So that's on that one. And then we go on to Roman Star. Roman Star is getting. Uh, 
all kind of services. We've done wheel bearings and studs on it. It's got the cage already in it. 2005 um, M3? It's an 03. 03. Yeah, it's an 03. So we're busy putting everything back together on it. Um, the cage was done by Mitch. Uh, absolutely fantastic work. Um, Mitch Piper over at Piper Motorsports. We are, sometimes we just have to sub things out because we just don't have the manpower and the time to do everything. So Mitch is kind enough to squeeze a couple uh, little jobs here and there and for us. So we prepped a car, get everything all organized, gut the interior, get it ready for the cage, drop it off, gets us organized. And then once we get it back, that's when we put back the seat. We put the dash bits and pieces back, put the aim back together. A um, couple wiring harness upgrades that we're working on. We've done the uh, the Garmin install for for Roman as well, so that's going to be out of his out of his line of sight, uh, so it's not blocking the windshield, so it's still accessible and visible. And then we have the fire system in the back that uh, that we put in, and then we'll finish off with the passenger side seat install, and then uh, DJ fixed the cool shirt. Um, hoses and and uh, all of the little power wiring issues that it was running through and uh, as you can see power kill switch in the back the solenoids in the back and then we have the pull cable and the power shut off on the passenger side B pillar and then also on the driver side A pillar right there uh, and then that's uh, that's where we are so far and then on this guy, uh, Jamal's car, we're doing upgrade turbos on it. Um, originally we were just, the car came in for a tire plug and uh, and then it turned into all of this stuff coming apart. Are you joking? No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. No. Um, so it's gonna get uh, new turbos and then we're gonna be replacing all these little lines that are going to the turbo, the coolant and the oil feed lines. A super common problem as you can see these little lines that are sitting right underneath of the turbos they get so hot and so squishy that it starts leaking and has little cracks in it over time so we recommend replacing these lines uh, every time we have some major work going on on it um, we might be doing a water pump and thermostat at the same time because everything is all apart on this uh, it is a uh, it is a big job, as you can see. It's pretty good. Or you some you want to show something? Yeah, just you can see how how extensive this this stuff is. That you have to take half of the, the car apart to get to all of this stuff. So that's where the turbos go up here, and it's easier to do with the subframe all of that jazz out of the way. So. That's what's going on with that bad boy. Woo. And then finally, the uh, Emola D46 M3 that came in for a couple of things, but then it turned into a bigger, bigger, bigger thing. Um, we we're trying to see if we can do some rod bearings on it, but unfortunately it had a spun bearing on cylinder number five. So we actually opted to rebuild the motor uh, instead of trying to get something else. So we've got the, uh, the block coned, checked, and then bored one size up. Uh, and then the machine shop actually managed to get our, or actually his crank polished enough and fixed up so that it's not something that has to be welded. So thankfully all that's gonna work. So we're gonna do new head gasket. The head has already been redone, valve job. Uh, it's gonna get new bearings, uh, a whole bunch of seals, water pump thermostat, all the good goodies that go with it, Venus overhaul, you name it, it's gonna get it done. So that's the front part of it. And then it's also here for the rear subframe reinforcement. Unfortunately, this one is a really, really bad case of subframe deterioration and cracking. So come to the back. So as you can see, it has been attempted, or it has been fixed before. What am I showing? Nothing. I just oh, wanted oh, you oh, to okay. watch out for the glass. Okay. 
so it has been repaired and patched before but unfortunately it wasn't done correctly or not caught at the correct time because you can see the ex mm. external parts starting to crack all the way around where it was repaired and all the way up here all the way in the back so this is all cracking apart and uh, I'll grab this and then I can show you a little bit better sorry for that shaking but you can see massive massive deterioration so we're gonna try to see if we can repair this floor uh, ideally I'd like to swap the whole floor pan but there's no available parts for it through BMW as of right now so we're trying to see if we can find some alternatives and as you can see all these little spot welds where it's just coming apart it's just it's really bad and it comes all the way from the edge it's cracking there's actually bits and pieces already missing out of it so this is one of the worst ones that we've seen that the car was actually still on the road so this will be the, uh, the other part of our weekly or bi-weekly repair because this is a lot of stuff cool so you asked why do we have all these motors here um, um, the lineup because we love the 54s and uh, so what I these think are just three, three of them are spoken for we have a fourth one uh, which is on the other side here so we are we're not hoarding these motors, but we're just stocking up yes. on them so that we can actually, uh, <laughs> so we can actually get some rebuilt and uh, have them ready. We have uh, an S54 there that's going to be going into uh, Stephen Kent's uh, wagon, which is going to be an awesome little wagon. And then we have Tom Radford's motor still that we're waiting for the hit to come back. Can we go out and talk about waltz or maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. on Monday we can go or is out. it leaving? We'll go out right till now. Is it it's going to be here for a bit. Yeah, so Tom Redford's motor that's going to be built. Um, then we have Roman's spare motor that's going to be built. Um, so we're just we're just motor galore. Yeah, and we're not busy at all. Not at all, not at all. Uh, it is actually Saturday, so we're trying to catch up and then we'll be here today and tomorrow. So, yeah. Okay, so a little bit of stuff on the outside. We got heat score here for tech inspection and rear diff bushings and uh, just a general check on to see what's going on with it. And we have Jeff's car that he dropped it off for studs, wheel bearings, and then uh, also the track check over. Um, then we have Joe here, he's gonna get some uh, hood shocks and a couple uh, PCV valve little bits and pieces. And we have Walt's car back from Florida. Uh, it's getting a uh, variable valve solenoid, uh, valve cover gasket, spark plugs, and then we're gonna adjust the tune a little bit on it for him. Uh, also another tech inspection, and then we're getting some tires for him as well. We got Jason's car here. We did. Front suffering reinforcement, lower control arms, rear wheel bearings, and uh, we're just doing a tech inspection for it real quick. See for uh, the upcoming three events that he's doing, and then after that, we're gonna do a rear trailing arm pocket reinforcement. Is it a 95 too? Uh, I'm not sure. It, it's probably a 96 or so, but it's an S54 swap. Super cool little car. Uh, it is a 95. Yep, yep, yep. It's a seventh month of 95, so it's pretty, uh, it's pretty nifty. It's a cool little car. All right, and then I think we have Dan's car. We're gonna do. We did a wheel on it. We did a tire on it. We're doing a tick inspection on it. Uh, he's looking for a front bumper and bumper support. So if anybody has a front bumper for. 2003, 4, 5, um, E46 M3, he is looking for one, so it is also if you have one for sale. Um, 95 M3, 
next car. That's the one that we put the motor in. So we're just finishing that all up, making sure that everything is up to par. Uh, is this a daily? It's running and driving like a like a half a new car now. It's not a daily. It's just uh, it's going to be his his little project car. Going to take it over to the body shop, see if we can get a quote for the hood and the fender and basically a paint job most likely. Uh, Roman supercharged car. We got to get some stuff organized on that. Um, then next to it, we got Ken's car. That's here for wheel bearing studs, uh, probably brakes, tires. And uh, yearly checkup, and then we have our old school wheel barrel, 1955 Chevy 3100 pickup with a straight six in it that is looking for a new home. Uh, it might be spoken for, but there is no money in the account yet. So if we can uh, help find a new home for this uh, oldie but goodie, we're trying to see if we can make it all happen. Uh, Steve's coupe, 41 coupe, that we are waiting for some wheels and tires, and then we can extend the studs on it. Uh, Scott's S54 swapped 36 that is looking for a new home. So hit us up if you guys are looking for an S54 swapped E36. That's a super nice little car. Uh, this one is going back to DC. Somebody knocked a mirror off on it. We're putting the mirror back together so uh, he can get back on the road with it. Jack's car, we're doing an MK60 upgrade on the brakes. We're doing front and rear wheel bearings, front and rear front subframe reinforcement plates, rear trailing arm pocket reinforcement. Uh, Steve's car, we're doing a tilt and clutch up update on because it also has an S54 in it. Unfortunately, the uh, stock S clutch system doesn't really live up to the standards of uh, track use so we are going to be swapping over to the tilt setup and Scott Hodge's car we're doing some brake upgrades fixing up an exhaust leak that keeps coming back and uh, a little bit of service here and there and that should be it that about concludes our what do we have to do for the next three weeks <laughs>